killer is going to pay for this. I found my fiance and my son dead in the car. How did I survive? I have no idea. It must have been a miracle. But when I woke up, I found myself in some kind of forest. And I wasn't actually in the car. I was outside of the car, as if somebody dragged me out or something. The front of the car was destroyed. Some pieces weren't even lying on the floor. So, minutes after, I decided to finally get up and to search the forest because I had nothing else to do and I was also stuck here. After a couple hours in the forest, I felt tired and I saw a humanoid figure standing. I didn't see any expressions or anything because it was too dark and I only saw a shadow of someone. It walked slowly left, as if he was hurt or something. I followed him and I called for him, but I had no response, so I still followed him. What I saw next surprised me. It was a big circus with rides and tents and everything that they're supposed to have inside of a circus. I called for help, but of course I got no response. The park was abandoned. Some rides even were inaccessible because of how broken they were. And I found a ride of a haunted house. I was curious, so I went inside. It was pitch black. Then I heard whispering. I started opening my spare flashlight that was in my pocket. And I started looking for the sound. Who caused it? I saw the humanoid figure twitching inside of the toboggan on the ride. He was twitching his head side to side and even front to back. It freaked me out, so I backed off a little bit. And then I heard him say, Please start the ride. So I sprinted out of this ride and I didn't want to see that guy again. Then I heard a music box playing the Come Little Children song, but it was broke. So I came close to it and inspected it. But I felt a cold hand grabbing my shoulder. So I took a mirror that I found on the ground, looked behind me with it, and I saw myself grinning at me. And this is when I started to think that I was going to die. And then, the strange man looking like me said, Don't worry, I will just have fun with you. Then I said, Go burn! Get out of my face! <laughs> then I heard him scream, it was the most irritating screech I have ever heard in my whole entire life. And then I saw the circus blazing in flames. And the humanoid figure melting away as he was screaming louder and louder. And then the fire was getting closer to me. I was panicking at that moment. And then a man started walking towards me. He had red eyes and dark pupils, and his grin was as white as the other humanoid. And then he said, Welcome to hell. Then the man took my hands and surrounded it with burning, melted metal. And then I was screaming, and quite after that, I was praying for my life. And before waking up, I heard some sobbing <laughs> coming out from other people. And then I woke up in the hospital. Where am I? Am I alive? I said. Then I heard the doctor say, <laughs> Yeah, don't worry, mister. You're alive. Everything is okay. Don't worry, sir. You're in the hospital. We found you when you were going into the forest and uh, before you we found your family well your family's remains we followed you inside of this abandoned circus and we 
decided to uh, go for a search party. Only one person was sent though, and he never returned because the circus burned for unknown reason. So we hired some firemen and they saved you and stuff. So yeah, we found you um, unconscious. But don't worry now, everything is okay. You can go back home.